What's going on guys? It is Galazio here. Welcome back to episode 6 of the New Paul County Career Mode. Guys, thank you very much for supporting this series. It's been absolutely amazing. We are getting into the thick of the championship season. We are just outside the playoffs at the moment, but before that, we've had a few of our scouts come back. I have to say, this is the worst our scouts have ever done, which is absolutely unreal. I couldn't believe it. But we've got Leeds, we've got Blackman, we are playing today, and we are going to be simming Cardiff and Luton as well. Um, but guys, in the last episode, I did ask you guys to suggest some players for the future when we come to January prepping for um, season uh, four. And thank you very much for everyone to suggest it. As I mentioned, we are currently in seventh place, looking to obviously try and improve that and get into the playoff spots. I think we are exceeding expectations at the moment, but the great thing is we've signed good players. We've got rid of the players which are just weighing us down and we are making strides and players are improving, which is the biggest thing. So we are challenging the likes of Leeds, Brentford, Fulham, all those type of clubs that uh, are in the championship that we are, of course, looking to beat and hopefully gain promotion to the Premier League next season, which is the biggest opportunity for us. You know what? I said this in League One. I'm happy enough to settle for the playoffs. And at the minute, that's where I am. But we'll see how, if my opinion remains the same closer to the end of the season. But anyway, Leeds with a really early start. But they do end up scoring. But lucky enough, it was drawn back for a foul that the Leeds play committed on me. So very fortunate there. Goalkeeper should save that anyway. But anyway, Docky now on the ball. Plays about the Sims. Completely splits the defence. And he's got this on his right hand foot and slots it in. Awful goalkeeper in there. Honestly, he looked like a crab. Completely... Um, clinched up there and he ends up slotting it in with his signature move that Sims has been doing a lot lately over the last couple of episodes so it's exciting to see if um, we can get more of those signature finishes just open the body up a little bit and put it to the right of the goal which is really exciting so absolute brilliant there brilliant finish from the young forward. I think he's only around 22 years old something like that so not really old at all and he plays every we've got him on loan so we need the prep for season four that we're going to be having a striker less. Um, so lots of transfers potentially happening. So make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the series for that. 74 minutes in now. 77 even, I should say. Davis on the ball. What can he do it? The ball is going to cut back, cut back inside. He's into uh, Bennett. Bennett turns back. And he loves it. Always oh, off the bar. Absolutely sweet. Someone called the post office. Hello? That just got posted stamps in that top right-hand corner. Absolutely amazing goal there from our youth academy prospect. Pushing down 80 rated now. We know you're training him. That's how beast this guy is. Honestly, just off the bar. Goalkeeper literally had no chance. The manager, absolutely loving life with Haynes just behind him. Can't have been it there. I think that's his uh, fifth goal of the season so far. So he started off an absolute brilliant start. Considering he's a cam, absolute brilliant play anyway. Sims now on the ball. What can he do? He's going to square that cross. It's uh, Bennett again. Bennett, right place, right time. 3-0. That essentially just cemented the result for Newport County. And how do you annoy the Leeds fans even more? By lying right in front of them. Easy. Close your legs, defender. We end up going 3-0. Solid, solid result, even if that does end there. Anyway, we're making a triple sub. Gallagher coming on. Cavalier Kenko coming on. Bennett going off, Davis going off as well, and Polion as well. A senior even coming on for Docu. Senior now on the ball, what can he do? He's going to cut back, gives that to Gallagher. Gallagher on his left foot, he goes for the shot. Oh, it's lofted in. Absolutely perfectly weighted shot. No wonder the goalkeeper's losing his head. The defenders didn't even close him down. Is Gallagher a starting 11 player? That's one of the biggest questions here at the minute. Um, we have got, because when we signed him, he was on a clinical con contract, he was going to be starting. Maybe we need to start switching it up, dropping Travis a little bit, because Travis now isn't really going to grow anymore. I think it goes around 77 rated, and that's it. And that's him completely max. Gallagher goes to like 83. We're probably going to be signing some players next season, so maybe we will re-evaluate his tar um, transfers next season. Anyway, Sims with a 9.4. Bennett with a 9.2. I'm a little shocked on that. I thought he would have got man of the match. But Davis, senior, coming on. Absolute brilliant performances there. Rossi as well that we signed. Not making his debut as of yet. Of course, that's the only question that we seem to be getting asked at the moment. Is Rossi going to make his debut? Which is awfully frustrating. It's just like, no, he's a reserve player. We haven't signed him to start. 
as you all know, Matheson is the starting right back. And uh, we'll be looking, of course, to uh, make sure he improves quite drastically because oh, otherwise we're going to have to bring someone else in um, next season because we need to make that jump if we get to the Premier League or even if we stay in the Championship as we are now in, uh, in position, 23 points and not far off the top spot with Sheffield United. Norwich, Brentford, Leeds, Reading, all just above Newport County and just below them, 7th it is Stoke City and Swansea. City. Of course, the goal difference looking really strong for us at the minute. 13 plus goal difference. Of course, the teams in front looking really strong. But right now, we are going into a game and we are playing Blackburn Rovers. For people that don't know, I actually support Blackburn Rovers. Blackburn Rovers fan. Um, so I, I'm hoping we batter them. I don't want to lose um, because it's, I don't know, I don't know what it is. It's like a pride thing a little bit. I also don't want to beat them too much because it's like, it's a team that I support. Anyway, you see they Ben again, two goals in the previous match, which is him just on form, he's completely on fire at the minute. Bennett now on the ball, right place, right time into Travis. Travis putting against his former club day. Good save from Fisher. Of course, I've noticed Blackman have a few youth players out. They got Fisher, uh, Matt Plant as well. They they're all youth players. They run 50 on radio. Anyway, Bennett now on the ball, whips out into Davis. Good block. Is another shot. Good save from Fisher. The ball gets cleared. Is out the docu now. What can he do with it? The ball gets played into Travis. Out to Cascade. Cascade wins it. Oh, it's poor defending there. Attacking even anyway. Anyway, Cascade. He looks to win it. Cascade wins it. Tries to play across. Good defending again. Bennett picks up the ball on the edge of the box. He slots it in. Oh, I think the goalkeeper just got a hand to that. But they hit the back of the net so hard it came back out. 70 minutes into the game now. We are now 2 0 up against Blackman Rovers. Bennett with his third goal in two matches absolutely brilliant there what a finish and i think the goalkeeper did did just get his hand to it bennett there with another goal seventh goal in the championship so far this season it's now one nil 90th minute gone i don't know why i said it was two nil <laughs> only one nil Anyway, Matheson on it. Dodgy defending. It looks like Blackman are going to try and get a late minute equaliser. Oh, and it, is that offside? It's offside. Oh, we got very lucky there. Ben Burton, and even though he didn't really interfere with play, he was classed as offside. It's how quick into replay that. Look at that there. It was blocked by the defender, and the ball just literally fell out. So we got very fortunate there. Anyway, we end up winning. We beat Blackman Rovers 2 0. 1 0. Why do I keep saying 2? Connor Bennett took his chances. One attempt on goal, one goal, enough for us to get the win. Travis picking up a yellow card against his former side. I have to say, another clean sheet as well. Let's give some uh, praise to the defence. All up in this seven. Russo, uh, Cooper as well. Cooper as well. Cooper, we got a free. What an absolute steal. It's not a play. What an absolute steal Cooper is. Uh, or was even, I should say. The question is back again. They're asking, will Rossi ever make his debut? EA, stop asking me. I'm going to make a FIFA 21 video soon. I think I should because I'm getting so frustrated with the issues of FIFA 20 ads. It's just like, oh my gosh, come on. Let's, let's just back it up a little bit. We don't need this. Anyway, we're unbeaten. Then apparently we're on an unbeaten streak. Um, it doesn't tell us how much it is, but uh, we are unbeaten for the last two games. I think it's the last five or something like that. We are unbeaten for a reason. That's one of the biggest things. We are completely dominating the league. Um, and we are moving up. Of course, we had that little slow start against Hull. Um, and of course, we need to make sure we keep that momentum actually going now. And seeing that we can challenge in that playoff spot. Because I think one of the biggest things with the, the championship, the championship is so open that results do go up and down throughout the entire season. But the moment you drop off a little bit, you could easily rock it right down the table, which is one of the biggest issues. Bennett getting himself another goal. Sim scoring as well after we beat Luton Town 2-0. Absolute brilliant result there. How's our lead table looking? We've jumped from seventh up to third place. Absolutely brilliant there. Ten wins. Two draws, two losses, and that goal difference as well is massively on our side over the last... We've scored, um, of course, we sim Cardiff as well, which we beat 2-0 uh, in the previous section, and uh, that's another 2-0 win. 2-0 win with Luton, that's plus four, plus three against Leeds, so that's plus nine and plus ten goals. So, 
including our 1-0 victory against Blackman Rovers. So that's completely gone our way over the last couple of games. Absolutely outstanding from the boys. But anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode. We're going to say Cooper uh, very briefly. Of course, we're trying to get him up as high as, rate as we can. He's now 67 rated. But anyway, guys, I want to say thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to see more from me, hit that subscribe button. But anyway, guys, my name is Golazio. I want to say thank you for watching. And uh, you know what? Guess what? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.